when when um when Hillary lost, y'all was hooting and hollering and you didn't let us, you know, we couldn't celebrate our president and y'all didn't give him a chance. Bitch, he was president. We didn't have a choice in the matter if we wanted to give him a chance or not. The last four years has been his chance. That was the chance. He didn't do a good job. We didn't want him anymore. All right, so y'all know the whole spiel. I don't even really want to do my, I'm not even going to put my intro in. I'm just going to say this. Um, bitch, I'm scared. But here's the thing. Am I supposed to be scared? Like, I don't know. I have I have questions that I would like some answers. So right now, subscribe to my channel. That's number one. Number two, I want everybody's opinion. Like, I'm going to share this as much as I can. I want everybody's opinion. Because I don't know if I'm supposed to be scared or not. I don't know if what I'm feeling is okay. Um, so first things first, let's get a breakdown of pretty much what the fuck happened. Right. First, we start out with this. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. <laughs> that is not correct. Then we move on to this. Five days after a mob forced its way into the U.S. Capitol, a which resulted in this. I got mazed. We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. And now. I even got front. A bitch is scared. However. I'm not necessarily scared of Trump supporters. Granted, they're scary as fuck. Um, not because, you know, they're Trump supporters, which, but mostly because um, y'all crazy as hell. Y'all are crazy and you get to commit treason and get away with it? But had they been black, had they been Hispanic, had they been Asian, had they been any race other than the white one, Oh, best believe, this would not be a video of me just saying, nigga, I'm scared, but I want to preface, I'm not scared of Trump supporters, right? I, I have no reason to be scared of any man, amen. However, I am scared, rather, of what the country is going to become within the next five days, right? It is the 12th, I believe, doesn't Biden get sworn in on the 18th or something like that? I'm scared of that. That's what I'm worried about. What is this country going to become within that time? They're talking about protests across all 50 states, armed protests across all 50 states. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You can protest whatever you want, right? You have the right, you have the right to protest. You even have the right to bear arms. But my issue is you have nothing to protest. You have nothing to stand on. You're upset that your candidate didn't win. So you stormed the Capitol? You weren't protesting. Elizabeth from Knoxville said that wasn't protesting, boo boo. She said storm the Capitol. She said it's a revolution. When Black Lives Matter was marching peacefully, what happened? We were met with some force, some militaristic force. We were maced. We were shot at with rubber bullets. We were chased down. We were beaten. I just want to understand why for us why is it a problem why is it that we just like hey please don't shoot us please don't kill us i would like to raise a son in this country i would like to raise a daughter in this country and not have to be worried about them not coming home when we do it when we do it it, it it's it's just un unfathomable it's impossible we can't do it without being met with force. But y'all can storm a whole capital? Y'all can storm a capital and get away with it? Pretty much talking about some, oh, we arrested the people, we arrested the people. One dude got arrested and bailed himself out. This side paper, all right? Fuck y'all, I'm leaving. He, how does that make sense? But here's what I'm scared of. I'm not scared of the um, Trump supporters. I have no reason to fear a man, right? Man, woman crazy old lady. I got no reason to fear a single person on this earth, right? There's a promise on my life. Amen. However, my fear is what this country will become in the next ooh, five days, seven days. Now people are always talking about how this is pretty much leading up to the civil war, right? We are leading up to another civil war. I keep hearing it everywhere. Now, clearly this is just a declaration from the Proud Boys, which y'all ain't that proud. Y'all, y'all saw how the Trump supporters switched like that? 
Everybody, everybody was a Trump supporter. Everybody was Blue Lives Matter, X, Y, Z. As soon as the police were like, hey, y'all got to leave, they were like, what? 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 We've done nothing wrong. Bitch, you stormed the Capitol. You left pipe bombs in that bitch. You know what we did? We marched. We walked. We didn't do anything. And yet we got rubber, rubber bullets put in our backs maced you know torn the fuck down because we got torn down um and we marched for people like Ahmaud Aubrey. we marched for people like Breonna Taylor we marched for every single person that was torn down by society and the people that were supposed to protect us and y'all are marching because your kitty diddling pussy grabbing president isn't president anymore and you think no you know that all the bullshit that y'all been getting away with isn't gonna slide anymore. You know that we not gonna like, you know, you just know, you know, and you know things are gonna change and things are gonna go back to being civilized and normal. Also, why is it that y'all claimed, y'all screamed loud and proud, oh, when, when, um, when Hillary lost, y'all was hooting and hollering and you didn't let us, you know, we couldn't celebrate our president and y'all didn't give him a chance. Bitch, he was president. We didn't have a choice in the matter if we wanted to give him a chance or not. The last four years has been his chance. That was the chance. He didn't do a good job. We didn't want him anymore. We didn't want him from the time he became president. You know why? Because we knew he was going to be on some bullshit. So here's what I'm scared of. I'm number one, yes, obviously scared of this revolution in the words of Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee. But I'm also scared that the issues that we are facing, the consistent issues that we are facing in both the um, interpersonal, the racial, the financial, these issues that we're facing, that these Trump supporters are quite literally just dragging out. You're dragging out the issues. You're not allowing us to move forward as a country. My fear is that they're going to continue. Now, we clearly, as stated, yeah, no, we never liked Trump. Anybody that did not vote for Trump, they didn't like this nigga for so many reasons. You know, kitty diddler, pussy grabber, liar, cheater, list goes on and on. Um, however, once again, we didn't have a choice. You didn't see us storm a capital. You didn't see us do any of that. You know why? Because we, we, we know how a democracy works. We know that if your candidate loses, the other person is president. And we, for the most part, outside of protests that are necessary for the things that we have to stand for, this is where I need anybody that is a Trump supporter to listen. If you come across this video, I want you to listen to me. Listen to me clear as day, right? He lost. You can't change that. No matter how many guns you wave around, no matter how many, we want Trump, I don't care. You can't change it. It's not going to change. But what can change is your nasty ass attitude. What can change is your stupid way of thinking. That can change. And I don't mean to sound, yes, I do, fuck that. <laughs> I don't even think I'm being that mean. But I mean everything I say. Why are y'all worshiping this man? What is so great about him? I genuinely like, I want to know. I want to know. And anybody that clearly more than likely fits into the demographic of people that would watch my videos and subscribe to my channels channel what do y'all think like it's like oh we want a president that's gonna let us get away with this shit because you're still like majority of the supporters still fit into the demographic of people that was gonna get away with most of this shit and it's not like anything realistically will change that much for them within the first year or so of him being president so what exactly are they protesting should I be scared? That's my real question. Should I be afraid? And what should I, what should I genuinely be looking out for? Like, should I be afraid of like the, the setting of the country? Should I be afraid of them? What exactly is it that I'm like missing here? Like I am genuinely afraid more so of like, what is this country going to become between now and the 18th? But also I'm genuinely afraid that these, these, this group of people, it, it, they're going to do something that is going to hurt number one themselves. One dude at the Capitol tased himself in the nuts and had a heart attack and died while trying to steal a painting. Now, no two deaths 
are in any way, shape, or form, you know, to be ridiculed, to be mocked. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, y'all doing a whole motherfucking lot for people that are hurting themselves. That being said, subscribe to my channel. I ain't got shit else to say. Uh, I would like to know anybody's thoughts and opinions. I would like to know anybody's thoughts and opinions in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. I have a channel goal of 25 subscribers as of right now. Um, share this video with your friends. I just want to know, like, bro, should I be scared or not? That's really the biggest thing for me is should I be scared? Because I am worried, but I'm not worried necessarily for my physical safety. I'm worried more so for, other number one, other people's safety. But number two, like, what is the state of the country going to be? Um, bye.